for watching Alive TV. This is The Pulse for Friday, March 30th. Alive's ultimate restaurant guide hit the streets this week. If you like to eat, and I suspect you do, you don't want to miss it. We've got listings for over 1,000 local restaurants. That's a lot. Along with a look at hot new restaurants, do-it-yourself meals, great places that deliver, and much more. But it's not all fun and fried appetizers. There's also a very serious side to the restaurant guide. Chris DeVille has a report this week we call Restaurant Confidential, True Tales of Horror Encountered by Local Servers. I caught up with Chris in the Alive newsroom to get the story behind this very important story. Chris, for this week's Ultimate Restaurant Guide, you investigated a very serious issue, the horror stories that local servers have encountered with customers. How did you find out about this story? Well, I actually got an anonymous tip from uh, someone who was concerned about all of the zany, rude, and outrageous demands being placed on these local servers by, by certain customers. Not all of them, but a fairly large amount. How, so when you started your investigation then, how did you know where to look? Well, that's the thing with the, an issue like this. Um, th there is no ground zero. It's, it's kind of guerrilla warfare. So, uh, you know, you, you have to look. It, it's everywhere and it's nowhere. You, you have to look all over the place. Um, so, you know, it's quite the sweeping investigation. Did, did you find any resistance in your search for the truth? There was this one guy um, from... Rude Customers Union Local Number 873 that kept trying to throw a wrench in the operation, but uh, I managed to avoid any of his pratfalls. In your research, what was the most shocking discovery that you made? Well, I made at least one discovery that wasn't really appropriate for the paper, but unfortunately it's not really appropriate for this video report on a live TV either. Um, let's just say it involved corn syrup, sleeping pills, and the twisted fantasies of one asylum escapee. Now, I know when you're doing an investigation like this, you don't want to jump to conclusions. You don't want to spin any wild conspiracy theories. But did you find any connection between these different incidents that you investigated? You know, it, it, they all seem to be isolated incidents. The, the only connection I could possibly see is if being rude is transmitted the same way being a zombie is transmitted. Um, in, in any other case, I would have to say that it's just a, an epidemic that's it's not really, you know, interrelated, but, yeah. An epidemic of rudeness. Exactly. It's very troubling indeed. So, what, are there any lessons that we can learn for all, from all of this? What can we, as consumers, do to try and deal with this issue? The main lesson is no one is safe. And uh, there's really not much you can do besides try to be polite, but... Rudeness is out there, and it's coming for you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for that very special report. All right, thanks again, Chris. And don't forget to pick up this week's Ultimate Restaurant Guide for much, much more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week, and we'll see you at ColumbusAlive.com every day for updates.